This my roommate will tell you. I drive. In, I, I, my, my friends. I talk a lot about vulnerability because the idea of vulnerability is really. Um, it's a painful lesson I learned. That perhaps one of the most important and profound ones I learned in my life, and one which Western society tries to shield us from being vulnerable. And vulnerability is really the only way. So I, 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 since then, I've heard a lot of Jordan Peterson talking about vulnerability. David White talking about vulnerability, but this is my own thought, so I have two different poems about vulnerability. Vulnerability is making friends of your foes, fear, risk, rejection, pain. Convince them, if you may, that you are their ally. Share drinks for one night with them and joyfully say, drinks on me. And when they drink to a stupor, you are free to finally see yourself bare, naked, like the day you were born. To love yourself like you were then, loved, with no prejudice, no concerns for what may be. Part two. Beyond the mountains of jagged obsidian blades of pain and anxiety, I have seen the promised land. There, right there, I see the place where those blissful tears of belonging have gathered. The warmth of having known all along why. Home. So this one is called Ruth and Boaz, and using Ruth and Boaz from Gilad Ruth to talk about this kind of relationship. Ruth and Boaz, two lovers in the field on that breezy night of late spring, sharing what only they know and nobody can understand nor see. They know, but it cannot be. Not yet. No moment of perfection is complete without the ever so slightly breaking of the heart. <coughs> the weight cannot be put aside. It must be allowed to grow to force you into solitude. Haste must not be allowed. You must wait, my love. The preciousness, the precious pain of solitude has made you great, and I'm afraid there are no shortcuts to the heart, for the time must be right. And in the morning I will come for ye. My word is true. I will be there with my all for you, and then you will understand. You will know with your heart that I was always there, and so I wait. And this was inspired by, uh, by Rilke's letters to a young poet, where he talks about the value of solitude and getting in touch with yourself and those kinds of things. So I, I'm a big fan of Rilke. If only I could read it in the original German. Thanks. Everyone's going to die.